follow-up video, the YouTuber posted the truth about my donation, where he openly admitted that he faked it. What it is, guys? It's your boy Blasphemous HD, and today we are here to check out another video by Penguins, aka Gaming Chair Jesus, as I like to call him. He always wears a white t-shirt and keeps his hair long just like Christ himself. AKA Whittier Asmund Gold, because that's exactly what this nigga looks like. This video is called This Disgusting Trend Just Got Worse. Ha <laughs> ha. Sexual. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the last video I make on this topic. I just feel obligated to give a little update, a slight follow-up to yesterday's video since a lot has happened over the last 24 hours and a couple things have changed. Yesterday I posted a video talking about the most disgusting trend on YouTube right now and over the last 24 hours it's gotten worse. Just like a porta potty at an EDM music festival, it just keeps getting shittier. <laughs> Shit, man! Ah, oh, I wonder if this guy could give me a run for my money and a joke off. I don't know. I'll quickly go ahead and slap you with the cliff notes on the trend that I'm talking about. A beloved YouTuber named Technoblade recently passed away. Very beloved. And some degenerate low-life douchebags have been trying to use that as a way of profiting, whether it's subscribers or actual money. So that's basically the meat of the situation here. And over the last 24 hours, it's gotten real wacky here. This has taken some really unpredictable twists here that not even M. Night Shyamalan could have written. Impossible. M. Night Shyamalan is the god of making shit happen that shouldn't happen. Look at the last Airbender movie. No way that should have came off the movie conveyor belt. Yeah, you know I mean? One of these accounts that posted like 10 Technoblade videos faked a charity donation. I'll get into that in a minute, but it has been getting really fucking awful. But I want to start with the only piece of good news. Yesterday, I mentioned a channel called It's Owen, which was the channel that actually got banned for clickbaiting Technoblade's passing by making videos like Mr. Beast's final message to Technoblade and shit like that. His account got banished to the Shadow Realm for it, but he was trying to argue with them on Twitter to get it reinstated, and YouTube came out today and wiped their ass with his face. Update, we reviewed your account and confirmed that your channel was correctly suspended due to explicit content. Note that you will not be able to access or create any other YouTube accounts. Mm. Letting him know that he will not be getting his account back and he will not be able to make any further accounts. Which I think is huge because as I mentioned, he had multiple other accounts that he was clickbaiting on and then turning around and selling on Twitter. So it seems like he's also lost access to all the other accounts too. God, that feels good to read. This is a rare YouTube W here. Just served him up a plate of spaghetti and meatballs. Hold the balls. He's off the platform for good, it seems, and in- That's pause. Why I gotta hold the balls? Like, why not the spaghetti noodles? I don't- Is this a, a erectile dysfunction joke of some sort? I don't- You know what I mean? It's not always limp. I can't make excuses. I can't- <laughs> I've got pills, man. I, I, it's, it's not gonna be forever, is what I am told. In response to this, this cowardly weenie privated his Twitter account. The once proud Owen who wasn't afraid to let the world and all the plebeians know that he doesn't give a fuck and that he's proud to be called the king of clickbait is all of a sudden hiding and retreating into the shadows like a spooked little goblin going back to his cave. I'm sure this won't be the end of Owen on the platform. I'm certain he'll some pop up somewhere again with more clickbait. But this is still a great thing to see YouTube stick to their guns on what is the right decision since his content actually was a violation of their policy. Now unfortunately that's the only sliver of good news in this awful situation so I wanted to start with the dessert so that way the vegetables will be more tolerable and let's get into that now. Never start with the dessert. I'll just leave once I'm done eating the cake. Why would I stay for the broccoli? Now, the Dream SP official channel. This is a channel I talked about yesterday. It's run by a guy named Runalong, who is not a Dream SMP member. This account is not official, despite the name saying it is, so it's already misleading and tricking people into thinking that this is actually made in collaboration with Dream SMP. When it's not, it's run by one guy. It is fully monetized, and yesterday, as of yesterday, they had posted 25 videos all on the passing of Technoblade, what? all fully monetized. Now, they've posted up to 27. And since I'm making this video at 5.30 p.m., uh, I imagine by the time this video goes up, he'll probably have posted one or two more on Technoblade in that time. 
but right now they have posted 27 videos all on Technoblade and his passing. In yesterday's video I pulled up the Discord screenshots that someone had a conversation with Runalong and asked him about the money. He said that he's giving half of the money from the AdSense to charity. So, naturally, you can assume that he's keeping the other half, which means he is directly profiting off milking this Technoblade situation here. Now, he does say a portion in the messages, but I have to assume he meant like half, because a portion doesn't even sound like that much, but I'm guessing he meant half. In the beginning of some of his Technoblade videos, he puts a message on screen that's like this. Most of this month's profits from this channel will be donated to a charity out of respect for Technoblade. By not skipping the ads, you are raising more money to charity and contributing to a good cause. Okay, this is pretty shitty. <laughs> this is amazingly shitty, bro. Watch the ads for longer. It's, it's for Techno. On God. <laughs> it's God's plan. You remember Drake? It's the same thing. You gotta send the money. You know what I mean? If I died, I wouldn't really mind if people made a bunch of videos to like make money off my passing. You know what I mean? Like as long as they didn't lie on me. Like if people are gonna smear my name, use the truth. I just tell the real stuff that I do that's degenerate or wrong or not right or whatever. Oh, you know, he won't give us money and take care of us if we're not nice to him. That's wrong of me, right? That's, or, oh, he, he, all he does is make videos and, and beat his meat to Pornhub bad bitch squirt compilations. Like, yeah, you know I'm saying like that truthful stuff. Where he says most of the money is going to charity. So it's a lot of mixed messages here. And then encourages viewers to not skip the ads, which from what I've read is almost a violation of the YouTube policy in and of itself. That's such a fucking weird thing to ask too. Don't skip the ads because then you're taking money away from charity. Why are you trying to guilt viewers like that? Yep. If the point of the content shitty. is to celebrate Technoblade's really shitty. life, why the fuck are you gonna try and make people, people feel bad if they're running ad block or skipping ads? That's already extremely douchey. And it should raise a lot of red flags to viewers as well, behind the actual motive of these videos. What's the intent? If it's supposed to be positive and celebrating Technoblade, why is there immediately an emphasis on money? The purpose of the videos isn't fun also mentioned in the screenshots. If it was all about raising money, there would be a fundraiser on the side of the video, just like every other video that tries to raise money for a good cause. But yep. that's clearly not here, which means that can't be the reason for the videos. So then what the fuck is up with the emphasis on money and not skipping the ads in the beginning? That's yeah. shady as hell. That's so fucking sketchy. But even aside from the actual dollars going into his pocket from AdSense here, the channel has gained thousands of new subscribers from posting all of this content. 27 videos, and most of them are just extremely short, where it'll be like a minute and a half where Run Along took a screenshot of one person's community post and te put text-to-speech over it. And then he'll publish the video, put ads on it, and call it a day. And then he'll do that multiple times a day. He's posted 27 videos like that in five days. He treats Technoblade's death as if it's a coin block in Super Mario Brothers for him. Bing, 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 bing. It's like Super Mario just keeps hitting that brick that is disguised as a brick but is really uh, full of gold coins. Bing, bing. Or he'll just jump up and hit it, but instead of getting a coin, he gets views out of it. It's so fucking gross. And like I said, it's not even just about the money. If none of his videos were monetized, the fact that he still made 27 of them shows very clear intent to gain as much from this situation as possible, so that way he can personally capitalize off it. There is no excuse for 27 videos on a hey. tragedy like this. Now, hold on. That's There's so always an excuse. Up. It's beyond scummy. However, Dream SP official sees it differently. Yesterday, Run Along, the owner of the account, posted a response to my video, as well as other people that called him out. And it is so laughably awful that it only existed for 21 minutes on the channel before Runalong realized how bad it was. But luckily there's a few re-uploads, so I'll go ahead and show you it. Oh my god, oh this is gonna be a treat. Has recently come to my attention by people harassing me that there seems to be a problem. The Technoblade videos I've posted gathered a lot of hate, and YouTubers made videos on me for them. First these YouTubers are getting millions of views commenting on the situation and making thousands of dollars by reacting to everything. This is super hypocritical while trying to expose me for not donating the money to charity. Wrong. Just immediately wrong. Coming in here like Phoenix Wright with the objection here. I'm pretty sure he didn't even bother watching the videos. He probably just like read a couple comments and thought he understood the gist. 
I even made a point to say it's not about him donating the money to charity. The irrefutable fact is you have made 27 videos on the passing of Technoblade, whether that's getting streamer reactions to the news, or just looking at tweets about it, or just going to different moments of the past to put a Technoblade video out. That's an excessive amount of content, all focused on a tragedy. And yeah, the fact that they're fully monetized is a bit scummier, and the fact that you openly admit that only half of the AdSense is going to charity while I imagine you're keeping the other half is like Mr. Krabs' level of greed. You know, it's not like these videos cost you anything to make. You took a screenshot and used free text-to-speech. These were free videos. So I've got tons of kids, bro. You know what I mean? Bro, I've got 17 kids by 28 different women, bro. You know how much I pay in child support a year, bro? I pay more in child support than most people pay in, in, in child support. Like, it's wild! So it's just, it's not like you had any overhead that you're needing to cover or anything. So yeah, that does make it even scummier. But it was never the crux of what I was talking about. You are profiting more than money with subscribers. Your channel is growing because you have made 27 videos milking a tragedy. You are profiting off the death of a beloved, great person. And I think it's shitty, as do most people. That's what you're getting all of the uh, less than favorable reviews for. Because you keep making videos on this. It's just disrespectful at this point, and you can't argue that it's a positive thing. You lost that right after your 20th upload on the subject. You just treat this as a view farm, a fucking cheat code for views, engagement, and subscribers. You also then draw a shitty comparison between what you're doing and the people that are calling you out. It's not hypocritical. The people that are calling you out, myself included, aren't profiting off Technoblade's passing like you are. We are, I guess, profiting off insulting the scumbags like you and calling you out for your dog shit behavior and this awful degenerate shit that you keep unapologetically posting. Most say that they highly doubt I'll donate anything while they don't even know me. People seem to not understand that it takes a month before YouTube pays you. Before jumping to conclusions I will update everyone about my donation on the community tab or video showing me donating all the revenue from the Technoblade straight into charity. Just keep the money, bro, because you donating that money is not going to make people like you more, bro. It's really not. You just take the money, go on one of these sugar daddy websites and purchase yourself like a Russian submissive female, which is an oxymoron, by the way. I have videos where it's either honoring his death or showing unrelated clips of his brother. All these YouTubers just hop on the hype train to profit for themselves. Again, using charity as a shield here. It's not about the no, money, though you no. are singing a different tune publicly than you were privately. Apparently, you're claiming to donate all the money to charity now, so I guess that's a little bit better. But that was never the fucking point of the people calling you out, or at least it wasn't for me. No. It is you milking the situation and gaining so much on your channel for it. Subscribers are far more valuable than views, and you've gained a ton of them. So even if you donate all your AdSense revenue to charity, which is cool, I suppose. When you do something like this, just keep the money, be the villain, and go buy you a yacht. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't come back and, Bob, but look, I'm giving you the money. No, they're, they're not going to like you anymore, bro. You have still profited so much off milking the situation with all the subscribers and popularity you've gained from this. And you can't take that back. Regardless yeah, of how much no. you donate to charity and this and that, you will forever be known as the insufferable asshole who took advantage of the passing of a fucking great person. That's your legacy now, whether you like it or not. No, it's and not. no matter what you say is not going to change my mind nor the minds of many others because it is blatantly obvious with so many uploads on this subject what your intentions were. But now, since we're talking about charity here, let's talk about another commentator who tried to use charity as a shield. It's the channel I mentioned yesterday. I'm going to keep them anonymous because, again, I'm not trying to lead a brigade against any of these channels. Dream SMP posted 9 or 10 videos, but I do want to bring up what they did. This commentary channel posted 9 or 10 videos on Technoblade's passing when he was called out for it. He then made a big hoopla about how all of it's actually going to charity and this was actually a noble thing he was doing. No. And then last night he posted a video titled, I donated $3,000 to charity, the, the Technoblade tribute. And I even mentioned it in last night's video, but it tur turns out that was entirely fake. They faked the donation. As if the situation couldn't get any more shameless, an actual fake 
charity donation That's video. That's bad. Now, I saw this right no. before going to bed last night. It was posted by a YouTuber named Kat. Mudahar recently posted a video today on the situation where he goes into even more detail on how exactly the donation was faked. But I'm just going to give you, like, the brief summary here from Kat's video. That's bad, yeah, bro. Yeah, we're going to donate $3,000. Let's click I'm not a robot. Yeah, let's just let's just get it. Let's just get it over with. $3,000. Let's click I'm not a robot. Yeah, let's just let's just get it. Let's just get it over with. Okay, so basically what he did was type in 3000 and then it shows donate $3,000 with a comma and then he actually cuts the video before he donates. And what he actually cuts out is basically he changes the amount to something lower and then he used inspect element and then changed the amount to 3000 but he forgot to add the comma. Caught red handed with his pants down in the cookie jar. This was an exposed in 4K moment for the cringe compilation. So now let's boot Scoot and Boogie into a more thorough explanation of what happened. This YouTube commentary channel made 9 or 10 videos. Yeah, you ain't shit for this one, man. Even I say you need to get got for this shit, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, buddy. Come on. On Technoblade's passing. And then in their donation video showed the revenue some of the videos had earned. And it was up to like 2.6K. Then said he was adding $300 of his own money to the pot to bring it up to a nice even 3000 and then donated it in video. But this YouTuber cat noticed that there was something wrong and figured out that what actually happened here is the commentary YouTuber faked it by using inspect element. So he initially typed in 3000 to get a legitimate 3000 donation on screen. He then cut the video changed it to a lower amount and then inspect elemented it to bring it back to 3000 but forgot the comma. So oh, a big whoops -a daisy there and it turns out he was absolutely right. That's exactly what the commentary channel did. In a follow-up video, the YouTuber posted the truth about my donation where he openly admitted that he faked it. He said he was under so much pressure from the community to donate the money that he wanted to do it right away but didn't have $3,000 so he donated 300 of his own money and faked the rest and was planning on donating it once the money came in from YouTube. Of course, I don't know who the fuck would ever believe him. You'd have to be, like, actually clinically insane to trust this man to take yeah. his word on anything. Yeah. Faking a charity donation is about as low as it gets. Yeah. But that was his explanation. He deleted the video where he openly admits to it. Uh, he now has another video where he just talks about how he's the most hated Minecraft YouTuber now. Which makes sense because faking a donation to charity after you've been milking a tragedy is just the ultimate insult and beyond despicable. Super shitty, man. I would have had more respect for the guy if he would have just kept the money. Don't tell people you're going to donate it and then not donate it, bro. I, I actually can't understand how anyone could possibly support this person going forward, but to my surprise, there still are. In his video where he talks about being the most hated Minecraft YouTuber, there's so many comments that are like, it takes so much courage to admit when you're wrong. I'm so thankful that you admitted that you faked it and I forgive you. Can't wait for your next upload. What? But why? You know, I mean, you're totally within your right to do that if you want, all power to you. but why? The content he makes is this shit. When Technoblade was first diagnosed, this same commentary channel made like fucking 20 videos on that. The exact same thing he just did on his passing, he also did for his diagnosis. Why watch that? What the fuck is the point? You can't trust him, he's faked a donation, and if he was never caught for faking it, I don't think he would have actually bothered donating the 2.6k, he would have just no. kept it. You know, there's no way of knowing, but I don't think he would have. He just got exposed for it and then again tried to take the high road and play the victim. It's so fucking gross how low some of these channels will go for the sake of views and subscribers. Because like I mentioned yesterday, this channel has gained 16,000 subs in the last five days that he's been milking this content. Which is 16 times the normal rate of subscribers that he gains in a fucking month. So, he's profiting off this massively and then still faking donations on top of it. It just blows my mind. I wanted to do a little follow-up on the situation since it's getting even crazier, and I really do hope that this will be the last of it and people finally just stop with all of this absolute garbage. And yeah, uh, that's, that's really about it. I wish I knew people that genuine. Bro, where the hell are the people who are this genuine, bro? Oh my god, bro. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and don't subscribe. It's a boy Blast from Sage D. Toys.